welcome I'm UK Gamer 808 and today we are looking at FS19 new mods we have new mods in the mod hub update today which is always nice not loads but a nice big the CSZ packs here that's bloody awesome so let's go and have a look in the mod hub to see what's going on in there and here's today's FS19 new mods and we have the Amazon Profi Hopper and that's made by GTX a nice little ride on mower that looks pretty cool and then we have an update for the case IH Optum now I'm not sure what the update is because I did a mod review on this going back quite a few months ago so I think it is the wider steering angle new mirrors the the bottom bits I presume but that's that and then we have an update for the Flegel VFW 1800 by STV Modding and that's new colours design, new store E icon image and new details and then we have the CSZ equipment back is finally out for, for console I think it was out on PC because this came in a mod hub it said it was an update but we haven't got this yet so there's quite a lot of stuff on the FS17 there was a it was a pretty good pack and there seems to be even more there so we'll have a look at that and that is your lot for today right so first off we have the profi hopper now let's jump in this and get it off and have a look now this is a uh, pretty cool I do like this a little bit we've got a previous mower at the moment but this one actually picks the grass up which is pretty awesome now this will cost you five thousand nine hundred pounds to buy and your initial leasing costs are 300 with 11 on the slot count so it will cut at 1.2 meters which is probably twice the width of the other one we've got in game the little 4x4 one on there we've got all the controls on the left hand side there and then it has got a little speedo and a bit of animation for the turnkey and unloading as well so pretty cool love it now it holds 1200 uh, 1200 liters of grass and that's the beauty about it where you can do those little places you can't normally get into well now you can it's 25 horsepowers and will do a top speed of six mile an hour so you're not going to drive this too far now there were some color options it said design color and then the wheels the wheels you can have in the gray or there's a green or like a tan color and then it said design color and they had the same options on that and when I clicked on I couldn't see anything was changing and I'll tell you what I was doing it for about five minutes where it was like well surely it's changed something or I just didn't notice myself so but there it is anyway nice little beacon on the top as well the roll bar and it does look proper nice job it really does it looks like a proper ride on tractor better than my one anyway so let's jump in fantastic turning radius on this as well you can more or less turn on the spot come up to the end of your run and then spin it around and look at that beautiful so what does it work like we need to unfold it first right the unfold is it just drops it down basically and then and then we can fire it up now it has got lights on this as well we've got the lights no main lights just lights on the front and lights on the back with indicators I like the way the indicators are built into the lights they're pretty cool I like that anyway I'll stop that indicator and you see we've got a little bit of action on the pedal there and is it cutting you're having a laugh I haven't tested this out yet obviously but that to me right let's just get the options window on because I don't want to look bloody stupid do we fold mower turn on mower turn it on turn it off so it's on or off I'm down on which field is this number five so you can hire a worker hire a worker he's not going to cut that grass 
Now that's a bit strange. Is it because I'm on this bit of field here? I don't know. But it's not looking good, is it? Unload here. We can have a look at the unload feature on it. And there is two unloads for it as well. You've got the, the low unload button there. Let's get round in the sun so we can see a little bit better. I can't believe that's not working. And then when you go on to hold down R1 and push down, you've got low and high. So if you want to load it into a trailer, which this is pretty cool. Look how high up that'll go. And then just tip straight in. That is pretty cool. I like the way how high that is. Yeah, because first of all, I thought, well, you're going to struggle with the trailer, but not with that tip. That's awesome. Love it. Absolutely awesome. Right, so let's stop unloading and we'll try. Well, this is an inner field now. That bit over there is an inner field, so you need to unfold the mower first. It don't bloody work, does it? So here we go. Oh, more mods. What? Well, I don't want to say too much here, because it... Is it me? No, it's not, is it? Fold mower, stop engine, tip side, unload. But it's not picking it up. It's not cutting any grass whatsoever. Right, I'm going to try somewhere else. We'll be back in a minute. Right then, well it seems it doesn't bloody work. Can you believe it? Can you be I can't believe this. This is ridiculous. I was thinking, no, it's not. It's not me, it is. It just doesn't work. I've just put down some grass over here, tried somewhere else, and it just doesn't cut it. It runs over and flattens it, and it stands back up again, and that's it. But it doesn't work as a mower. But it's got a beacon. But apart from that, pretty cool mod, if it worked. Ah, let me know if yours, hopefully it's not just me, and if yours works, then cool. Let me know in the comments. We're gonna move on to the next load of mods, and that's the CSZ pack, back in a minute. Right then, next FS19 new mod is the CSZ pack. And you can see I've got it here. Well, one tiny bit of it. Now, this is a big numbers game where we can't go through every single one. There's un over 150, there's about 160 I think there is, and it's crazy. It just means you can you can pretty much do a lot more stuff than what you wanted, what than what you've done before, especially on fitting certain stuff to certain implements we can do it all now so let's go in and have a look at the pack in the shop now the best way to find it is just to search on the brands and then go to CSZ and then we start off we've got the multi-purpose buckets for two and a half grand and they start off and they go up to the 5000 litre there for seven grand and then we've got multi-purpose bucket with forged teeth and then the multi-purpose bucket grab it with a mono block not sure what that is i've been well i meant to get a video up by about seven o'clock it's now half past seven and i've been going through all this thinking how the hell are we going to go through this and we can't go through it all it's as simple as that if we gave one minute per one that would still take us three hours so we're just going to go through i'll show you a few of the things i've seen now the these ones i couldn't get this working is a bucket with a central discharge where it's got a hole in the middle of it so the old idea is you would not tip it out if you want to put it into say a cedar or something like that then it's a bit more realistic than tipping a bucket in and then we've got these hopper buckets which are pretty similar and then we've got silage buckets for mixing up your silage which they are mixers as well they all go on telehandlers and well you've got wheel loader telehandler front loader then we go up to these translators. Now these translators, they moved the items to the left or right. Same thing again, you've got them all for the telehandler and the skid steer. And then the adapters. Now these are pretty good where it adapts three points of a tractor to a telehandler tool. 
and then you've got uh, from a skid steer loader to a front loader tool and then you've got front loader to skid steer tool and basically you can it's, this pack was pretty good last time on FS17 and there was a few things it didn't have and it's got everything in here now that's why there's like 160 of them so all these like tele, tele handler to wheel loader tool and you've got that one um wheel loader to tele handler loads of different ones then these ones i've got one of these eight which is the extra elevation and then we go on to the bail forks which is loads of different ones of them with reclining tips and then there's quite a few different options on them as well you can extend the tips on a lot of these as well so the amount to do is it's crazy it's it's a hell of a pack it really is then we got the bell fork with the grabbers and then we scroll up bell fork handlers we've just got so much stuff big bag handlers as well there's stuff there manure forks and then we still got so much stuff to cycle through it's crazy now the other one what i liked here is the single fork carriage with these grabbers as well where it actually grab on and, and pick up the well stop the pallet coming off and these ones so you can actually pick up two pallets at a time which they're pretty cool i haven't tried them out yet and then we've got the uh, double fork carriage for logs now these are pretty big i've got one of those out we can have a look at and then it's got a, a sling for lifting we couldn't really use that with you you put that on one of these arms with the other hooks on and it spreads the load and you can pick up a, a pallet or a couple of pallets something like that you can't pick up vehicles or anything well you never used to be able to and there's some lifting hooks as well there and then these extension for lifting hooks look at these dozer blades we've got these dozer blades here and then we've got the heavy blades which um they got an extension on them for silage and chaff and what have you then there's an extension for it as well so you can well that will extend on to make anything you can extend anything basically any of this equipment as long as it's a, a wheel loader to whatever you can extend you can put that bucket on that and vice versa it's pretty cool then we've got these cages as well for if you want to do a let's play and you want to get up somewhere in a cage you can do they're there and then these two is, is mixers and it says decorative only so that is all of it which you can see there is absolute loads and loads for me to go through this i was thinking it it, it just take a it's <laughs> probably about 10 videos on its own just going through it all so i've got a few things out on the front so let's go and have a quick look at a few of them now these were the silage um, levelers so we've got a wheel loader all ready to go and obviously that just clicks onto there like that but you can actually get up on that pile now and level it out a little bit without having to get in there you've got to watch it wheel with the wheel loader though because you've got the turning on it and then if you want a double extender well it won't pick it will pick it up but if i put it on that other arm it's just too heavy where uh, this is the little wheel loader but this is that extension i said to you about so you can just basically put that on Ooh, see if we can hook that up yep and that goes on there now uh, spin rain and we'll have a look at this this bale fork now this one where is it load square bales you see in, in the menu there and then that shoots up where you can load them and then it clamps them down which is pretty cool that's something new well it's all bloody new isn't it what am i about whoa but yeah this is what the smallest wheel loader so that's why it's struggling a little bit and then one of the dozer blades and it did get me thinking um i, I was pretty annoyed when we had the snow pack come out and it didn't work very well and i'll tell you what i bet this will do a better job with snow than anything else and especially when you're on a wheel loader because all you have to do is shuffle it along the road and of course it'll push it to the side and to the left and what have you so pretty cool but you can put on a that was the translator and that will move that to the left and to the right as well i've got one of them up there in a minute i'll show you that one so that's a dozer blade it's a shame i can't go through and test each one really because uh i'd be here for a week but i think we'll have to look at them in packs or something 
Anyhow, so this is the one for an extended bucket. Yeah, what was it called? Hang on, hang on. No, don't, don't get over that way. Yeah, I haven't had any problems with them yet. I thought, yeah, that's the first, that's it. CSZ Extra Elevation. So you can basically put this on your bucket or whatever implement you've got. Now that's the highest point you can pick up to. Well, you can now go up a little bit higher. How cool is that? That's pretty cool. But that's the thing with this, this kit, there's just so much, so much crazy, mate. Now, I have actually joined Facebook, and I've been meaning to say something for weeks and weeks. So on the front page of the channel, there's a link for me on there. If you want to go and hit me up on Facebook, especially if you come up with any other ideas with this stuff, because... I bet there's going to be some crazy goings on. There really will be. So let's get back round. And you've actually got the, this is one of the hook, the lifting hooks. And you can use this with like this spreader bar here. If you want to pick up some pallets, or I, I haven't tried it yet to see if what it picks up. I did try and pick up a vehicle first of all, and it wasn't having it or anything, but it, it is more for pallets and that sort of keeper really so let's drop that one off on that one and then we we'll move on we've got this one here is an extension no that's a telly that must be a telly on the one I know I picked up a wheel what well, no it's probably because I'm not straight isn't it One's a telehandler and one is a wheel loader. I'm sure, yeah, that is CSZ extension for lifting, which is pretty cool. But you can't, um, well, I'm not sure what you can pick up with it. Yeah, I haven't got a clue. But the, the one on the uh, front loader there is a bit restricted, whereas you use the, where's the telehandler? There's a telehandler one where the, the front loader it won't go down anymore, but the telehandler will, of course, dip down that little bit more if you need to. Right then, moving on to the next ones. There's just so much stuff, isn't there? Now, this was the oh, what's this called? The translator, and I thought, what the hell is the translator? And basically, it shuff shuffles it to the left and right. Let's, uh, let's actually pick up one of these buckets. That's one of the buckets with the. Is that the? That's not a telehandler one, is it? I thought it was. No. I should have remembered which ones were what. Really, would have made it a little bit easier. Hang on, I had this on earlier. That is the one I took it off because I left it in the back of it. It was like, yeah, okay, we'll take that one. There we go. Yeah. Where, ah, that's why. The pickup for it is on the front there. But you've got the extra control where you can just get it in there. Move it to the left and to the right. Which is uh, pretty cool. Now, I'm not sure if this was a telehandler or a wheel loader yeah that was the wheel loader wasn't it that basket i think the two other things were actually wheel loaders so i got started getting most of this kit out and then it was like yeah you're not getting all that kit out are you you're not gonna have enough slots for one because they're mainly about they're only one to four slots as well so they're not uh, too much so where's the extension on this one then there it is yeah, so we can bring them in and out. That is cool as I will be using that. Especially picking up a couple of pallets at a time. Easy. Now the other one, very similar, where we've got the log grab. Now this is pretty good as well, but it is mainly for piles rather than just one or two, because you can see, is that a... And that's a telehandler. I can't believe I got that out as a telehandler. Yeah, that one's a telehandler. 
but it's all available for teleanders, skid steers, whatever you want. And this one does actually come in a little bit. And then we've got the grab coming down. Pretty cool. But like I said, when this came out for FS17, it was like, wow, look at all this, and we can do this. And it was a little bit disappointing because some of it you couldn't actually do anything with. So it was like, oh, right, okay then. Because that arm, I thought, oh, we might be able to hook up a vehicle to the back of it or something. But no, we couldn't at the time. So be interesting to see what we can do. So if you take any pictures of any stuff you're doing, send it over on my Facebook page, which is uh, and. An and angry farmer i wanted angry farmer but they wouldn't let me put that but that's what i'm known as angry farmer that's my playstation network first name and second name so that there it is the csz pack pretty awesome really is uh the amount of stuff it's crazy it must no wonder it was in mods and testing for a while and you can see why there's a hell of a lot of testing and it's not all going to be perfect no chance not when you do 160 items I'm sure it was about 150 160 i got up to 100 i think i got up to 160 and then it was like wow we're uh, not doing a minute on each of those are we right well that is it for fs19 new mods Nice to be getting some mods again. It's been absolutely weeks for me since I've been able to do any videos and whatever. So I've done a few mod reviews and whatever. So if you are new to the channel, go and check out Mods and Testing. I put a video of that up earlier that we had an update and that will be starting again. Uh, next one will be uploaded tomorrow, probably about four o'clock in the afternoon. Depends what time the list comes out. So go and check that out. Right out. So if you've enjoyed this episode, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you are new to the channel, why not hit that subscribe button and you won't miss any further content. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.